We're doing a spring cleaning and the goats are being a pain in the butt. Yeah, you. Where is he? Ah, gotcha. <laughs> You're my little goat now. Good work. On this episode of Locked Up, <laughs> what a juvenile did. <laughs> Maximum security. Today is her trimming day because we have a nice warm spring day and that's what I feel like today. So We're doing the spring cleanup, it counts as that. Yeah, spring cleanup. Uh, I usually do hoofs like three times a year and they look pretty gnarly right now because they haven't been done all winter. We did it right before the snowfall and haven't done it since so it's time Nigel. So I always start with the back hoofs because if you start with the front hooves, trimming them kind of sharpens them. So if you start with the front ones and get them nice and sharp and then you're like this, doing the back ones and you get smacked in the face, you're gonna regret it. So always start with the back hooves. Don't bite me. Don't fucking bite me. <laughs> Nigel. Nope, Nigel, no biting. Okay. So if they're biting, put their head down like that. They give up pretty easy usually. Nigel, how do you feel? How does it feel right now? Not so good. Okay, you want to get a close-up of the cutting? This hooks aren't really that. So what you do, you want to take the dirt out so you can see this white, off-white bottom. And you kind of want to make all your edges flush with that. Um, it does take some practice. And then if you cut just a little bit at a time, your first time doing it, you'll start seeing... Um, where this white is, you'll start seeing like a pink if you're getting close to blood. So that's when you usually want to stop before that point, but like your first time and just practicing, um, you can kind of use that as a gauge. How many times did it have to, did you have to do it before you got good? Uh, I don't know. Well, I started doing them when I was like 13, so. I don't really remember very well. Probably like two or three times. So right now the goats are eating the compost. That's not Disgusting. Uh, Nigel? The peacock is trying to court a chicken. Love to see that. So, oh, he's, he's being a little pill. He's being a little bit of a pill. So those back hooves, oh, I missed this one. It doesn't take very long once you have the hang of it and if you have good clippers. If you have bad clippers, it's gonna take you all day. So invest in some good How much, clippers. here, I'll hold that. How much are good clippers? I think, oh, honestly. Oh, Nigel. These were probably like eight bucks yeah. at Walmart. I like the smaller ones because I feel like they can get like into the little crevices a lot easier and I think they're a lot easier to handle. Um, some people like the bigger ones, but especially on small goats like these guys, I find the bigger ones to be difficult to use. Mm -hmm. um, and you have to make sure you keep them sharp too, because if they're dull, Do you sharpen them task. or do you just buy new ones? I usually just buy new ones because I'm lazy, but I'm sure you can sharpen them. <laughs> You can get a before of this foot. Look at how gross that is. Nastiness. So, we just did jelly beans and I could smell the hooves. They smell horrible. Yeah. What are, what are the, some problems that can come with not doing the hooves? So, not doing their hooves, um, it can change the way that, they're, that they walk because the weight gets distributed differently. Um, if they have really long curled over hooves, 
And then they can also get hoof rot um, underneath. Like, you see how this is starting to curl in? I never let them get past really this point because if they curl in all the way and then that locks in all that manure and all the dirt that's in there and it starts rotting some of the um, tissue that's in there. And then you have to do a whole different treatment if you have that. Is that like an infection on the foot? Uh, I think it's more like a rotting than an infection. I've never personally had to deal with it on my own goats because I keep up pretty well with the hoof terms, but I've done other people's hooves that you get this stuff hoof and heel mm -hmm. and it just has like a bunch of antiseptics and stuff in it to, to make sure. So there's his finished hoof. Wow, so um, nice, Nigel. Just to clean it up. Yeah. Don't be drama, Nigel. Be very careful if you have a twitchy goat. I've never cut a goat because it's like kicked or anything, but I have had rabbits that have been doing their nails and they kick and they kick as I'm cutting and then they end up bleeding because I was not paying enough attention while I was doing it. So make sure you're very careful about kind of predicting movements. It helps if he's little and you're big. Yeah, it does. N Nigel's a little good. We'll see how Joe does. So I like to, some people put him on like a milking stand and do it that way. I think it's easier to just flip him over and make him completely helpless. Because <laughs> on a milking stand, they can move side to side and they can really uh, be a pain in the butt this way. Uh, he can't really do anything. But this way you have to be careful putting him back down because um, if they bend their hips the wrong way, it can uh, mess them up. So I make sure I put them down nice and easy. Bye, Nigel. And they always look a real mess right after. <laughs> like their hair is everywhere. <laughs> Nigel's our little walking beach ball. I don't know if I could do, do Joe in this seat. Maybe I'll try. Can you grab him for me? <sighs> Oh, Joe's a hefty guy. Okay, let's see. Oh, he's coughing. He's choking on his grass. Yes! All right, what do you want me to do? Just pick him up again, cradle him like a baby? Oh, he's not gonna oh, he's like that. throwing a temper tantrum. No. Ow. Okay. <laughs> did he smack you? He did smack me. Okay, hold on a second. Just hold him there. Uh, I want a dry spot. Oh. Here. Let me show you the, the takedown of a goat. Oh. <laughs> and then kick their legs out. <laughs> now we go. WWE Goat Edition. And we got him. Where'd I put the... Got my trimmers. So even goat is a, or a, Joe's a sizable goat. Yeah, but like the larger breed goats, like uh, Nubians and like meat goats, like Kiko's goats, um, you're probably gonna wanna do the milking stand. Joe weighs about, what do you think, 200 pounds? A million pounds. Two, 200? Yeah, probably. Um, yeah, either. He's not happy right now. Do you want me to switch spots with you? No. Bigger goats, I do either the milking stand or, um, I get a halter for their head and tie them to a fence and then use your body to press them against the fence and limit their movement. Um, so, where are we? We had to stop filming for a second. Yeah, uh, Joe had uh, a violent 
outbreak. So, um, so. I'll see if I can get this. So I'll show you guys right here too. I got him kind of close here. You can see the pink there. He's not bleeding, but it's pink and you can tell that you should stop cutting there. How do you feel, Joe? He's not happy. Not impressed. Okay, back feet are done. So this is manageable with one person, but it is nice to have someone to help. I mean, Joe outweighs you by like... Especially if you have heavy goats. He outweighs you by like 60, 70 pounds? I don't know. Yeah, Joe's a hefty dude. Hey, geese! Joe, don't try anything. Filming the geese. What are you doing, geese? Joe's Try got anything. nice <laughs> pedicured hooves. Okay, and now. One more. Oh, you got them both? Nope. Look at those. Now just roll him. Just so lift him a little, and you can roll him sideways or you can roll him forward. Just careful for his little hippies. There he goes. Oh, jeez. He's not happy. Yes, his hair's a little messed up too. And Pat has some hoof in his mouth. In my shirt. It it's happens. Everywhere. And Joe is no worse for the wear. In fact, he'll probably have a better day now. Yeah, he will. The geese will have a horrible day. Oh, they're eating leaves. Look at them. Look at how good these babies are. And Nigel. Thank you guys for watching our video. If you enjoyed, please remember to subscribe, give us a like, and leave a comment. If you have any questions about trimming goat hooves, I'm happy to answer them. Um, and let me know what you want to know about next when it comes to animal maintenance. We'll see you in the next one.